please put your hands together uh, for the author of a book called Mauled. And he survived this attack. Ladies and gentlemen, 2017, I'll hand him the microphone. He's going to tell you the story very quickly. And he has taken something very, very tragic that almost took his life, and he's turned it in to something positive, which I think is the most remarkable thing that we people do sometimes when we've suffered a real adversity. And this was uh, this was more than just an adversity. But uh, Jeremy, good to have you with us. Tell us very quickly uh, what happened and uh, what are you doing now with your life? My name is Jeremy Evans, and I am the Grizzly Dude. Six years ago, I survived three vicious rounds with the Grizz Sal Grizzly Bear, each round more vicious than the last. After the third round, I was fully de and rendered unable to stand. I was by myself, over 12 kilometers from my truck. In that moment, on that mountainside, while holding the pieces of my face in my hand, I learned some very valuable life lessons. One of those lessons I learned that day was that family comes first. And in that moment, when all hope is lost, my family was all I can think about. And one of the reasons why I am here today. If you want to find out more about the lessons I learned that day, Come to the Kevin Unscripted bo booth and pick up your signed copy of Mold. Or check out episode 62 on the Kevin Unscripted. Have a good night, guys. There he is, ladies and gentlemen. Jeremy Evans survived three attacks by the same grizzly sow. He was out sheep hunting, and uh, he was walking along a little trail, they told me earlier. A uh, cub ran in front of him, and he thought, oh, this is not good. And before he knew it, the bear had grabbed the back of his neck and just started to tear him apart. And it's an amazing book, uh, an amazing story, and he's got T-shirts, ball caps, some cool things over there. Please make a purchase, and that money is going towards PTSD. Uh, research and helping people who have uh, who have suffered PTSD. Jeremy Evans, good job.